Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you guys want to check out my social media or check out a badass kick-ass original story, check out the links down in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. So I think it was about three years ago I watched a video from, I think it was Cineflix. Uh, and they do the reviews of their rankings really well. I like how they do them. Uh, or their top 10s. They do them in a very different, interesting way, you know, talking about a bunch of other films besides the 10 that they're doing. And I hope I said their channel right, because uh, that, it's a really good channel. If you if you love films, you should definitely check it out. Uh, but there was one film in particular, and I'd only seen one scene, and it's the scene, I think it's a gimp. The gimp is walking in the frame, and I think that was like one of the scariest scenes in a non-scary movie or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what it was, uh, but I've, I've been intrigued on watching this film ever since. And I actually found out that it had a criterion so i had to check it out the film that i'm talking about today has julian moore in it um and it is directed by todd haynes that movie is safe 1995 this is spine number 739 and let me tell you guys i one, one thing that i really do enjoy about this film is i really enjoy the colors i enjoy the colors in this film this film is very it's very colorful but the colors are very saturated, you know, like they're not vibrant or anything. It, it's just like, it, it's, it's colorful, but it's almost not. And it's beautiful. Um, and it's just, and the soundtrack is great. Uh, it's got a really good score. I mean, a really good score. Um, well, let's go ahead and talk about this. So what Safe is about is it's about this woman and she is kind of got she's got this sickness right but it's not really necessarily a sickness it's more so it's something in her head and then you start figuring out more stuff about it uh and i think this film was actually sort of meant to uh i, I guess it was sort of a message to like i don't want to say this or not but i think it was aids um they say this on the back of it let's see todd haynes save functions on multiple levels Free to self culture as a metaphor yep it's a metaphor for the aids crisis and uh, I can actually see how that, that is. Uh, I really can. And it's one of those films, too, where it starts raising more questions the more you watch it. Um, by far, my favorite part of the film is... I really enjoyed the resort part. But there's also... I really enjoyed watching the husband and wife, you know, on screen. Because the way that they set the film up, it's very believable what these characters do and what these characters go through. Um, and Julianne Moore... I mean, she straight up just, I mean, nails it. You know, like, I, I really, I love Julianne Moore. I think she's a terrific actress. Um, and, and you know, that's pretty much basically what the film is about. You know, it, it is about this woman who thinks that she's got this disease or this sickness. Maybe she does. Um, and she goes to this resort and she tries to get it sort of, you know, taken care of. But there's so much more buildup before you get to this resort. And one thing that I can actually appreciate so much about the film is the film is... Is it two hours? Yeah, it's an hour and 59 minutes. I mean, it's two hours, basically. Um, this film could have been done in like an hour and 20. It really could have. They could have taken the part where she started feeling sick. They could have crammed that down and just sent her to the resort, but they didn't. And I'm so glad that that was the case because I enjoyed the buildup. You know, like I actually had a chance to get, you know, close to this woman. And like while I was watching it, you know, I was like, she's losing her mind she's losing her mind she's losing her mind oh wait maybe she's not losing her mind and i love films that do that i love films that get you to think and then whenever you start thinking they're like hey whoa hold up a second and then you start feeling bad for thinking that way um i also want to say too that i'm thrilled that this film got a criterion like i am very thrilled that this film got a criterion i think this is one of the coolest looking ones um but yeah if you guys have not seen safe you should definitely give it a watch. Um, you know that what I what I do uh, most of the time is you know I like to put uh, a lot of my Criterion's back and just sort of let them stack up, get a little Criterion movie pile, a bunch of movies I haven't seen. Um, it's kind of hard not to though when you get them. Uh, and this I'm just I'm really glad that this was the one that I decided to watch because we had a blast watching it. Uh, it it really is one of those films where you would look at it and you'd be like eh, I don't know, uh, but it. It's it's a slow movie, but at the same time, it's moving really fast. It really is. Uh, it's just one of those films you really got to watch. You know, you can't really explain exactly what's going on because this is a film uh, that raises more questions than answers, and that's fine with me. Sometimes I like to kind of put the puzzle together. 
uh, you know, even though sometimes it might be extremely hard, it's possible. Uh, and that's one thing that this film kind of reminds you of because they do give you a lot of different backstories. They do give you a lot of information to take in. They give you a lot of information about this character or at least what she's going through. So it's not like this sort of blind watch where they throw you into the fire and they just, you know, let you sort of fend for yourself. They do give you these subtle hints, these subtle clues, uh, or, you know, some pretty big information, whether it's subtle or not. And they let you sort of piece the story together as it goes on. Now, there is a story, a straight story that you're watching, you know, like you know exactly what you're watching. But there are a lot of these hidden details that sort of spark questions, you know, like one, for instance, for me. Well, no, I'm not going to say that because I don't want to spoil it because maybe it might be the same question you might be having right now if you've seen the trailer or anything about it. Because it was the same question I had. And then whenever I watched, I was kind of a little bit disappointed. But yes, safe Todd Haynes. Definitely check this film out. It is worth the watch. It's worth every penny. Get the Criterion version. I'm not even sure if there's even another Blu-ray version out there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I just saw the Criterion and I was like, okay, sweet. But yeah, definitely check out Safe. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Let me know what you thought of Safe down in the comments below. I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you're at. And I'll see you guys next time.